it just didn't feel right talking to other teams because I kind of knew this was the place. Oh, we got you then. Yeah, yeah. we got yeah. you early with that one. All right, we've got Adam Thielen on the treadmills to walk a mile presented by Atrium Health. You ready to do this? I am, yeah. All right, let's go. So, Adam, you grew up in Minnesota, played college ball in Minnesota, then played for the Vikings. So will this be your first time living outside of the state of Minnesota? Uh, yeah, pretty much. We, we do uh, spend time in the off seasons away from Minnesota. Uh, but for an extended period of time, this will be the first time leaving Minnesota, which um, a lot of mixed emotions the last few weeks. Just uh, uh, it's been quite a, a journey. And, uh, you know, in the NFL, usually it does stand for not for long. Right. And uh, usually don't last too long in one place. But to do that in your home state for 10 years is, is crazy. But um, just the way everything happened, my wife and I couldn't be more excited to be here in this city. And, and, that's, and that's truly from the heart because uh, it's just been amazing a couple days since we decided to sign here and, and just know that this is, this is our home now. Yeah, well, let's talk about that because you had options. Like you, you could have gone to, to several different places. So what was it that made you and your wife and your family feel like, okay, this is our new home. We're gonna move our family down to Carolina. Yeah, I think there's a lot of factors that lead into that. But I think um, one of those factors was going to a place that you could be a part of building something special. And what they've already started to do long before I signed here with, with the hiring of coach and, and the GM in place and, and just the pieces that they've, they've put in place over the years, um, a great defense, um, uh, the opportunity to draft the first overall pick. There's just a lot of excitement around this organization, uh, this city, and I just wanted to be a part of it. And uh, I, I could feel that the moment I walked in the building. I'll be honest, before I came in the building, it may, maybe wasn't high on my list. Um, but after I left the building, it was, it was, it just felt, it almost felt that when I talked to other places that, that uh, I was almost like, uh, it just didn't feel right talking to other teams because I kind of knew this was the place. Oh, we got you then. Yeah, yeah we got yeah. you early with that one. How do you feel about sweet tea? Sweet tea? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a sweet tea person, but okay, maybe uh, you will be. But yeah, you never be know. Be ready for all the southern food and all I that am. kind of stuff. We're super excited about it. Again, like you said before, we've never been away from Minnesota, yeah. so uh, we're excited about just kind of embracing the city and and this community and and really diving into the community. Um, one thing that we we strongly believe in is is God gave us this platform for a reason, and that's to give back. So um, from the day from day one of, of signing, we're gonna uh, get in this community and we're gonna find ways that we can give back and and to help. Um, you know, bring some positive change to this community as well. We'd love to hear that. You know, Charlotte is such a, it, it's just such a family, you know, style town. And the community is such an important thing to the Panthers. You and your wife, Caitlin, have a foundation, right? The Thielen Foundation. What are the things that are important to you when it comes to giving back? Yeah, so our, our mission statement is helping youth reach their full potential. One way we found that we've, we've seen the most change is through sport. Funny enough, right? Uh, so we've, we've done a lot of things. We're going into schools and and giving them resources as far as a new weight room. So the kids are excited about playing sports. And then in turn, they have to do well in school so they can play the sports. And then, you know, they end up graduating and, and, and going and do their thing. So um, that's been a, been, been a big big part of the Thielen Foundation. Well, speaking of youth sports, you were a four sport athlete in high school, is that right? Yes. All right, so it was, you played baseball, football, of course, basketball and golf. Yep. If you had to have gone pro in another sport, which one would it have been? Well, if you'd asked me back then, I would have chose basketball. Okay. Um, and I still love basketball, but now it'd be golf. Yeah. I, uh, I love golf guy? I love to play golf. Um, I, I'm trying to get as good as I possibly can. You know, having a, a golf simulator in the locker room now is. Yes. Was, I, I, I didn't say it earlier, but that was a big part of my decision. No, I'm, when you're like, I'm yeah, talking with Coach Frank Reich, <laughs> the golf simulator in the locker room, right. the two big things. So hopefully that can help my post career trying to play on the tour, you uh -huh. know. We'll kind of kill two birds with one stone there. Well, and you know a lot of good golf in North Carolina too. Exactly. That wasn't that wasn't uh, a bad a bad deal. Yeah, that's deal a either. bonus. Like, yeah. how good are you? What are we talking? Well, I I should be a lot better because I've been playing my whole life. But I'm I'm I've been a zero handicap. Whoa. I'm probably anywhere from a zero to a one. Whoa. Uh, but uh, I'm definitely trying to get better. How? I mean, that, like you said, you really weren't kidding about maybe playing on the tour than if you're trying to get better than a zero handicap. That's impressive. Yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely, when I'm done playing, I'll definitely try to do some Monday qualifiers. I'm definitely not anywhere near those guys. I mean, there's there's a huge gap even from 
a, an unbelievable amateur player to a professional golfer. So I know I'm not even close, but I'm definitely going to try and see what happens. Well, you've got the term amateur down. Like you say it like a golf guy. Okay. So, you know, yeah. like amateur. Yeah, so exactly. you're already there. Adam Thielen does it all. Thank you so much for letting me walk a mile in your shoes. This was great. Absolutely. Thank you.